All right, folks, welcome back. It's time to talk about flush houses. If you don't know what a flush house is, uh, shoot, go away. Go play the game. Go, you know, explore, enjoy. Uh, you know, it's not, I'm not saying you can't handle it. I'm saying, uh, you know, there's value in kind of just exploring and learning what the game has to offer uh, on your own. You know, the discovery has some fun and some value. And so maybe uh, go do that for a little while. And then when you find out what a flush house is, then you can come back. Then we can have this conversation. All right, we're continuing on with our, you know, I said this is going to be tutorial series. How do you win the game? Um, and we talked about uh, how to win the game with flushes, how to win the game with straights. Um, and now, uh, one of my personal favorite builds, uh, flush houses. That's what we're going to talk about. Now, uh, with whatever build that you're considering, uh, you know, maybe there's three points to talk about. So number one is within the context of a round, how easy is it to assemble the hand? So how easy it is it to make a flush? How easy or difficult is it to make a straight? Second and separate is how easy is it to build the build. Sorry, I didn't have a better way to say that. You know, how easy is it to uh, assemble, you know, what are going to be the jokers that you need to support you? What are going to be uh, the tarot and planet cards that you need in order to make this build viable? And then the last one, uh, which is related, but technically different is I've done the build, I've gotten the jokers and I have, I'm able to make the hands happen how easy is it to actually win once I've gotten there? And, you know, to illustrate this, to, uh, we should go back to when we're thinking about flushes. We said flushes, the hand itself is relatively easy to make starting out. And then with the help of some suit changers becomes even easier to make flushes. You can play four flushes in a round. Secondarily, uh, flushes uh, the build overall relatively easy to build relatively I say intuitive uh, if you just go in blind and play what your gut tells you uh, you'll probably do okay you'll make the right decisions uh, you know about 80 to 90 percent of the time but it's once you have whatever jokers are going to support you once you have some uh, Jupiter planet cards Sometimes you still lose. Why do you still lose? Because flushes don't have as much scoring potential as other hands. And, you know, this makes sense. You know, you shouldn't expect that the world record high score is going to be achieved with just playing high card, you know, the easiest hand to make. And so flushes are not the hardest hand to make. They're not going to be worth the most points. So, okay, easy to make the hand, easy to make the build potentially hard to actually win because you're not getting as many points per flush. That could be challenging. Uh, in contrast to, uh, in the last video, we talked about straights. Okay, straights starting out relatively easy enough, easy enough to make the hand of straights. Uh, as the run goes on, it doesn't get that much easier um, so maybe that's a consideration in the late game. Straights are harder to assemble than flushes because uh, they don't get as much benefit from tarot cards. So, okay, one strike against straights uh, in the late game. They're not as easy as it is to assemble other hands. So what do straights got going for them? How easy is it to build straights? Uh, you, not, you know, build the hand within the context of a round, but build... Uh, the run around straights well we demonstrated you really need mostly uh just the planet cards just the saturn cards the saturn cards are uh, much more powerful than the uh, jupiter cards for flushes and so you know with the same amount of planet cards you can score two times as many points three times as many points if you're scoring more points per hand you require less hands. You can beat the final boss with just two hands. You can beat the final boss with just one hand sometimes, uh, if you have a particularly strong set of uh, supporting jokers. But on average, 
you know, if you're getting more scoring from just planets alone, then you don't need as many uh, scoring bonuses from jokers. You don't need as many scoring bo bonuses from uh, tarot cards. And for that reason, uh, I feel, okay, struts, straights as a build, as a run, is uh, easier. Easier to build straights uh, than it is to build for flushes. Then finally, okay, once we get to the end and we have whatever our straights build is going to be, and we know that we can consistently make two straights or possibly three straights on the final boss, how easy is it to win? Uh, it's easier than flushes. And the thing that makes that possible is if the straights are worth more points each, then it is easier for us to get the 50,000 that we need in the end. And so uh, what we're gonna do when we're talking about uh, the next hand, these flush houses, we're going even further in that direction. We're gonna take a hand that's even harder to make, but then if each hand is worth more points, now I'm at a situation where every round I'm winning with just one hand. That's what we're gonna try to do. In my opinion, that is the winningest build. And so let's take a look at the planet cards. Uh, for flush houses, you know, that now that we've gotten rid of the folks who uh, don't know what that is, a flush house, that's a full house that also happens to be a flush. So it's a, you know, they're all the same suit. And so it is, in being a full house and a flush, it is that much harder than both hands. Um, it is harder to make flush houses than it is to make five of a kind, potentially in theory, you know, cause you can just make lots of copies of the same card is relatively easy to do. Maybe in theory, you know, maybe with DNA, you make lots of copies of the same card. With death, you make lots of copies of the same card. Uh, it is potentially more difficult to, uh, have more cards of the same rank and suit at the same time. So five of a kind, we don't care what the suit is. And so maybe that's what makes five of a kind a little bit easier to make than flush houses. Maybe, uh, you know, I'm putting an asterisk on that. I will demonstrate later. I, you know, I don't necessarily think that's true. But okay, for flush houses, we talked last time for straights, it was very important that uh, the Saturn planet cards give us three molt and 30 chips. The series planet card, we're getting 30 chips also, and five molt, which again, you know, may not seem like that big a deal, but uh, it's about, uh, you know, 50 to 70% bigger uh, uh, for the planet scaling. Um, that's enough. You know, if each one is 50% more than with two, that's 125% more, and, you know, it's building exponentially uh, after that. And so, uh, again, we can do a similar thing that we do with straights where because the planet cards are so powerful, I can win with only planet cards. My jokers don't matter at all. And so maybe that is a mark uh, in the favor of flush houses. It's easier to build a flush house run because I don't care about the jokers. I don't need any jokers. Uh, we can win entirely jokerless runs. We can do jokerless win streaks if we want to. Uh, some people have done So we just need to figure out mm, how to uh, make a flush house in the first place and then overall how to make an effective run All right, let's take a look at here. We got uh, sixes and sevens uh, sixes and sevens is that would that win us in one? I don't know. I'm just gonna throw away the sixes so I don't have to think about it uh, eights and sevens I know works. So let's try eights and sevens. Maybe. There we go. Could play the aces if we want, but we don't have to. All right, well, we're starting off here. Uh, Splash, we said in the past, is maybe not the strongest joker. Um, it helps out the weaker hands, you know, for example, pair and high card, you can throw in a lot of extra garbage cards, but if the molt bonus is not enough, then you're not gonna be making that much more points anyway. And so, still not worth it. 
uh, supernova. You know, that's one of those scaling, increasing in power as the run goes on. And so that's going to be a late game situation. Uh, what we're going to do instead, when we were building flushes and we were building straights, we said we wanted to go for, uh, you know, saving our money, you know, getting a minimally viable amount of scoring jokers uh, at the beginning. So we're going to start off the same here. We're going to uh, hold for some scoring jokers. Uh, if I were just playing this in a normal run, I would take the uh, spectral pack here. Uh, you know, this can be, we said, run defining. This can be, uh, you know, very powerful. Uh, for this demonstration, we'll say we didn't get the spectral pack. You know, they're a little bit more rare than arcana and celestial packs. All right, going into the second round here, again, we're in the situation where we didn't get a scoring joker to support us, so we're going to need two hands. Maybe we will start with a straight. And then now any kind of straight or flush or full house would work. Uh, full house is harder to make and maybe it's not necessary for us to go for a full house. So maybe it's easier for us to go uh, for a straight instead. Or maybe it's easier for us to go for a flush. Let's see here. Uh, we got, let's try diamonds. There we go. Okay, now we've got uh, scoring in the form of the ice cream. We've got income in the form of the gratification. Uh, this is, you know, just like with the half joker and the delayed gratification being a very powerful combination, potent com uh, combination. Same with ice cream and delayed gratification. We've demonstrated in the past how powerful the ice cream is. Um, and so you combine it with delayed gratification and you can sort of play any garbage hands that you want. You don't need discards. Uh, again, I'm going to pass on the delayed gratification. Uh, if you were to try this run yourself, you should take it. It's very powerful. You'll have a good time. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, uh, let's pretend we don't have access to as much money uh, and then see if we can still win anyway. All right, so going into here, uh, I know with the help of the ice cream, I can win with uh, a straight or a flush. So I've got spades here. Let me just check, make sure I don't have a straight. My straight detector is not very good. We do have a flush. All right, and just like that, you know, with relative ease and comfort, we're able to end anti one with our $20 and we're able to make the interest that we need. Here we go, we're offered, uh, this is what we need in order to make flush houses, that is a full house, all of the same suit. Well, I need to convert cards into the same suit. And so the way that you do that is with these suit changers. Uh, any one will do. And so we're offered here the moon. Uh, if you wanted to play optimally, you would take this now and then you would use it uh, when you want. And so, uh, you know, we've demonstrated this in the past with tarot cards. Uh, it's You want to take the tarot cards from the shop when you can because you can always hold them in your hand and save them as backups. Use them only when you need them. Use them to bail you out of tough situations. If you use them earlier and you know you put some bonuses on your cards or whatever you might not need or you might not draw those cards when you need them so wait uh, with the tarot cards in hand wait until you actually need them uh, for again uh, I say this every time for demonstration purposes uh, this is very lucky to see the shape or the suit changer in the shop let's say we didn't get this in the shop then what would be the backup plan well the backup plan is just like with uh, flushes or straights, I said, don't 
lock yourself into the build necessarily too much in the beginning. Uh, don't think, oh, I need to win everything in round or anti three with straights. No, you really just need to pick up a few scoring jokers. Any kind will do. Let's not be picky. We'll uh, play relatively safely, just taking what's offered. If they're going to give me a half joker, I'm going to take a half joker. And then half joker combined with ice cream, that is overpowered already. We're good to go. Uh, so now, you know, regardless of whatever hand I play, even if it's 0-0, zero, zero, I'm guaranteed... Uh, 95 chips times 15 uh, that's gonna be about 1500 I'm able to beat this round the next round 1200 the boss 1600 uh, with like I said any garbage hand that is how powerful chips are okay we are gonna take the egg for sort of this long-term value this investment here uh, I'm not, I, you know, I'm very comfortable with my scoring here. Like I said, we already have enough to beat the boss in one hand with just a high card. And so uh, I'm going to save my money. I'm going to uh, exercise some restraint here. Pair of sevens, why not? Okay, we've, uh, you know demonstrated uh, exercised uh, discipline here and so now we can start spending our money we're rewarded first thing we need to do we've got a checklist first thing we need to do is make a flush house so we need arcana we need suit changers uh, for example uh, none of these suit changers but we can still invest in our future here uh, the strength card allows us to convert cards, you know, change the rank, and so we get more cards of the same rank. Remember, to make a flush house, you need not just the same suit, but also the same ranks in order to make like a full house type thing. So looking at this spread here, uh, I'm looking for the opportunity to maybe uh, get some repeats here. And so uh, if I do something like seven and nine will give me two tens and two eights and so even without any suit changers i still have two eights of spades two tens of spades i'm closer to getting a flush house and then we're going to save our money pair of sixes mmm i forgot I forget this every time. I forgot the, uh, you know, we're not able to play three cards. But the ice cream is powerful enough. I can win with, uh, with one scoring joker. You can win with two flushes or two straights. And so looking at what we've been dealt, uh, I'm thinking straights. Uh, we're just drawing to the eight now. Or maybe we'll get lucky and we'll play a straight flush. Or maybe we'll get unlucky and we'll play a regular straight. How about that? Oh, maybe we're uh, rolling the dice a little bit too much here. Uh, we're going to need uh, three of those in order to win here. Because our ice cream is not as potent as maybe I thought. Let's see here. We've got... Uh, threw away some sixes. So maybe I'm trying to get one more six to make one more straight or with the diamonds. I have some potential here to draw one more diamond like that. Uh, between these here, what do I want to play? Let's play the I've gone through. I have no more sevens. I have no more of the kind of high cards if I wanted to make it like a high card straight. So I want to get rid of the high cards. Uh, we'll get rid of the ace. And then uh, between fours and twos, I have more twos left than fours, but I already have the four in hand. And so maybe I'll do something like that. Okay, we just need uh, to get one more spade here. Uh, double check we don't have. Do we have a straight? There we go.
Okay, a little bit awkward there, trying to do it without the half joker power there, but uh, you know, half joker's fine, that's gonna help us later. Let's see here. E Dusk is one of those. Maybe we've talked a little bit about it in the past, where if you wanna go for the super high scoring, world record scoring builds, uh, we use Dusk. Dusk is what makes that happen. And the reason why is Dusk is going to copy all of the card effects that you have. And so one of those card effects uh, is glass. You can make glass cards. Glass cards give you two times your base scoring. Except we said the issue with using glass cards with let's say flushes or let's say with straights is your multiplication, your times two from the glass happens before your bonuses from your jokers. And so if I have, uh, you know, if I go here and I level up my flushes and maybe I've got 15 molt on my flushes, then my glass is gonna double it to 30, which means that glass card is acting like a plus 15. And then the jokers happen after. You know, I get another plus 10 here, I get another plus 15 there. But if your hand has higher base scoring, you know, for example, a straight flush starts out at eight uh, with some planet cards, you know, maybe we could get it up to 20, maybe we could get it up to 30. Then one glass card, 30 times two is a plus 30. And then if I go another glass card uh, or, you know, Dusk will copy my glass card effect, then that's gonna be Okay, 60 times two, that's another plus 60. And so you're very rapidly increasing your score. And then once you get to things like, you know, hundreds, two hundreds of molt, then now plus 15 from your jokers no longer matters. So for uh, flush houses in particular, they have that high base scoring. Uh, we can't see it here until actually we achieve our first flush house but it's uh, 200 times 20 base. And then this 200 is also you add whatever chips from the five cards that you play. And so with Dusk works very nicely with flush houses because you only play the one scoring hand. You don't care about the other hands. You can just throw away, play high card a couple times, get to the last hand. And then it will be enough to win all on its own. Uh, alternatively here we have the scholar option for scoring uh, I'm gonna pick up the scholar here the dusk is definitely powerful though it is somewhat inconsistent perhaps uh, it is if you have things like if you have scholar works really well with scholar but we don't want to win on the last hand every round we want to be able to win on the first hand every round that way we can get more and more money here so I'm gonna pass on the dusk but if you were going for a super high score, you would need the Dusk. All right, other than that, uh, the next thing that we want, we've got uh, our scoring uh, locked in for, this is gonna help me beat the water boss. Uh, then we wanna continue taking Arcana Packs because I have not yet achieved my flush house. Uh, I can use the Fool to get an another Strength card. Um, I could use the moon to get more clubs. Mm, clubs are not really what I was hoping for. You know, we already consolidated. We've got the two tens of spades, two eights of spades. So if I did take this, if I did take the strength, what actually would I be using it for? Well, I could take any of these spades and do the same kind of thing where I did, uh, you know, five and three, turning it into a six and four, then I would have a bunch of pairs. To make a flush house, you need to get a three of a kind, and we can't do that with strength. So we're gonna use the moon instead. Now, what are we gonna use the moon on? What are we gonna target here? To make a flush house, you need three of one suit and then two, or three and then two. And so here's what I look for. What I look for is, a pair of cards that are not already this suit. Uh, so for example here, I've got the threes. These two threes 
uh, are not clubs and so I already have a three of clubs if I add two more threes of clubs that'll be three threes of clubs and then that's it uh, also then I need uh, a pair and so I already have one let's say ace of clubs if I add another then I've got a pair of ace of clubs and that'll be enough to make a flush house Uh, extra money here we're going to save. I do want to buy this voucher later. All right, here we're looking at the spades. We did make some clubs, so maybe it's easier to make. Let's see here. Oh, we got the half joker. I forgot. So with the half joker, we'll go ahead and play a pair of tens. And then I threw in an extra six there just to get rid of it, get it out of my hand. Uh, we could play a pair of fives. That should be enough. Even without any help from the scholar. Uh, we've got the strength card, another strength card. So the same thing that we did for uh, our spades here, we could do the same thing for our clubs. Uh, I should have mentioned this the last time. Uh, there is a consideration for instead of going for the ace, of clubs making maybe a second nine of clubs and the reason for that is then it opens me up to the opportunity i can use strength to make another nine of clubs if i wanted to uh, the problem with making this ace of clubs is i can't make more ace of clubs with strength i have to use death or potentially uh, use more moon tarot cards uh, but I think we're going to be all right. Uh, you know, at the very least here, I can use it to make another three or I can use it to make other pairs. And then that way it opens me up to instead of uh, just three of clubs with my aces, I could have some different options for pairs. Let's open up the Arcana pack and see what we got. Okay, this is optimal, this is best, this is what you wanna see. Here's another moon card. We're able to make uh, even more clubs and then we can start finally, you know, in round four, make our first flush house. And we'll uh, keep an eye on this grabber for the next round. All right, here we've got, uh, we've got our threes and our six and seven of clubs and so maybe what i'm doing is i'm looking for the opportunity to use this moon and maybe the suggestion is okay the water can sometimes give us trouble if we don't draw the hand that we're trying to make and so if i hold on to this wait until i get to the water then i can use uh, the appropriate tarot cards then so we'll go ahead and proceed with the half joker. I could win with, you know, we've been playing these pairs. If I play uh, a pair of threes, that'll work. I'm gonna go for some aces. Cause now that I have the scholar, you know, maybe we'll go three aces. That might win us in just one. Or three tens is good too. Uh, three aces would do it. Is three aces better than, or two aces, is that better than three sixes? Yep. All right, looking in here, uh, I don't necessarily need to have the summit, but I will take it as sort of a safety net here. You know, this combination scholar with half joker, that works if I can get it, but maybe if I don't have access to my discards, I'm not guaranteed to get my aces, I'm not guaranteed that the scholar's gonna work. Also, my ice cream is melting. Uh, I do wanna purchase the voucher before we get to the boss. Uh, I have not enough money to buy these booster packs, and that's fine. All right, going into the boss here, uh, I see opportunity. And so what I see is I've got, if I wanna do a three and then, so I already have 
three threes. Here I can make an additional three of clubs. Okay, so that's good so far. Um, also, I see two fours, which means this would in total create three uh, fours of clubs, which means I can create my flush house with either threes or fours, or you know, a lot of time threes and fours. So this is great. This is uh, perhaps optimal. And then without needing any discards, you know, that's why we held on to the moon is so that we could do exactly this. Watch what happens. Well, first, uh, if I do 200 times 20, that's already 4,000. Here, if I add the chips from the cards, uh, let's take away, if I take away 50 from the ice cream, if I take away uh, 15 from the summit, let's see here, you know, 220 times about uh, 220 would be, I don't know, slightly under 5,000. Either way, with the help of our jokers, already the one hand is worth 9,000. And so, you know, if I get to the final boss and I can do four of those, then that would win it uh, for sure. All right, we're offered here even Steven Odd Todd. Now here's the pivot. Now we've reached anti four. We uh, beat the water. Uh, we are sort of out of the woods there and we're sort of, uh, we've achieved our first flush house. We now have the technology and so I can start to rely on those. Which means, uh, okay, I don't need a half joker anymore. Uh, I don't need my ice cream is uh, melting here. Uh, aces, I could try to make my flush house with aces, but I don't really need that either. Uh, instead, what I'll do is I'll take a look here. We've got threes and fours. Let's take both Steven and Todd. All right, looking at my money here, I want to buy an Arcana pack. We said, okay, keep buying Arcana packs, making it easier and easier for us to make our scoring hand. Uh, I've got here the opportunity to, I could turn a three into a four. That doesn't really help me. I can turn a five into a six. I'm talking about using strength here, possibly. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to the strength. I think we can still get, you know, maybe the two into a three or maybe, uh, you know, consolidate up here as well. Otherwise, looking down here, uh, I don't need the world. I don't need spades because I've already got it locked in in the club's direction using just the two suit changers. There could be a consideration for I have the clubs as my low cards here. So I have the threes of clubs, I have the fours of clubs. Maybe I can create the possibility of a second flush house with the high spades. High spades, low clubs, they won't interfere with each other. So I already have uh, the two tens and the two eights. If I could get uh, two more tens and one more eight or vice versa, uh, that would work. Let's take a look. All right, I could get an eight. I could get another eight here with the clubs. Uh, and then that would give me the four eights of spades. Uh, what are the spades do I have? I have a five of spades. And so maybe I can do this. I could do, uh, we don't need any more diamonds probably. So maybe something like that. And then now we've got a backup here. So the backup is we've got eights and fives or eights and tens uh, versus fours and threes. And then since I have the extra money, I'm gonna buy the celestial pack. Doesn't give us, okay, now that we've played the flush house, we do unlock the possibility of getting our planet card. Uh, I will say this, I will say, you cannot buy the planet card until after you've made at least one flush house in that run. So like your history doesn't matter. It has to be in this run. I've made a flush house. I've unlocked the planet card series. And so there is a consideration for trying to make flush houses happen earlier in the run, earlier than anti four, because if I unlock it earlier, I can get the planet cards earlier, right? If we compare this to straights, Straights, you can start buying Saturn cards 
from the very beginning and they're very powerful and very much worth it here you can't buy your series cards until after you've already made the flush house but i think we'll be fine uh, they are powerful enough each series card we don't need that many so we can go ahead and skip here and we'll save our money looking for this wasteful voucher all right red cards we're done with red cards get out of here uh spades we have not quite or sorry clubs not quite a straight flush if we do this we're looking for fours and threes we've got the threes looking for a four or a three technically uh we didn't get what we needed uh we had the potential we could use the strength card here uh for example if i go nine and three that'll give me two tens three fours i'll be able to make another different kind of flush house uh i'm not that desperate it does cost us money to play extra hands but we don't need that much money because we don't need that many jokers and then there we go with a little bit of faith here we we're able to get uh, our flush house maybe now is a good opportunity i'm seeing the two here make another three and you know since the seven is here we might as well uh, it doesn't help us because we turned our eight of clubs into an eight of spades but you know it's better than not doing it Flush house, there we go, 12,000. Uh, so with no planet cards and only these three somewhat generic uh, baseline jokers were able to win a lot of things in just one round or one hand. Uh, we want to take the hangman, hangman, remove the bad cards, make it easier for us to get our flush houses. Uh, we'll pick up the voucher here, extra discards. That's going to be easier for us to find our flush houses. Uh, we said, with no help, discarding five cards at a time, playing five cards at a time, you can see uh, 38 cards. With the help of the extra discard, now we can see 100% of our cards, which means there is no situation where we don't get our flush house. We're guaranteed to get our flush house every time. Now we just have to worry about is our flush house going to be worth enough points? That's how we complete the build. Which means, okay, maybe now I don't need as much Arcana packs. What I need are scoring, so we're gonna pivot now. For flushes, we said Arcana packs always first. For straights, we said uh, planet cards always first. For flush houses, okay, well, you gotta be a little bit discerning. Uh, do I need more uh, consistency? or am I consistent enough that I can start to go for more scoring? There we go, that's what a series card looks like, if you've never seen one before. And uh, I'm gonna save my money here, I'm gonna save my money for interest. All right, here's a little uh, tech for you. Here I'm going to, I wanna hold on to the four and the three, and so I wanna discard uh, here five cards uh, let's I don't know I guess it doesn't really matter so let's do that uh, we've got the four and the three here let's discard again there we go okay after doing that uh, what I was going to say is here I've got this hanged man that I want to use and so I'm going to first I'm gonna say this first thing I'm gonna say I know that this is going to win in just the one hand of this flush house, but let's say it didn't. Let's say this wasn't the winning hand. If I delete these cards with the hangman and then play these cards, then when I redraw, I will redraw five plus an additional two. And so that is a, you know, kind of niche use of the hangman is you can use it to get extra discards, extra draw power by strategically deleting cards at the appropriate time. 
Or what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and throw the fives. I don't want to delete them because we did that on purpose, making the fives of spades for our uh, spade flush there. Uh, but two of spades, I don't have any love for. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those. And yeah, you know, well, let's make sure we get our summit here. All right, 15,000, that same, uh, that same flush house is enough to beat the boss we're going into. Now it's time for the wheel. All right, we're going to do a similar move that we've done before. If I have a planet card in my hand or a planet card in the shop, then it makes it more likely to get the planet cards that I want. So no Venus, but also no series. Uh, I'm going to skip. There is no backup plan. It's flush house or bust. Uh, because if I get a fool here, I'm going to feel really smart. That's okay. We didn't get it. Now, the question is, I could use the moon to turn all of these eights into clubs. And that would potentially give me the power. I could make not just my fours and threes kind of flush house. I could make eights. Having four eights of the same suit is very powerful. Or, okay, the other option here is I can take the High Priestess, I could get rid of the Venus, and I can spawn into planet cards. Again, you know, looking for my series cards. Okay, what's the play here? In my opinion, I think we'd go for the suit change. And the reason for that is flush houses are worth so many points already. If I can make two of them, that's huge. Uh, most of the time, you can beat the final boss with just one flush house. If I have the ability to play two flush houses, now I can't lose. All right, here. Uh, I've got uh, fours and threes, and so maybe I just need to find my other four. Could be a four here. Let's do our discarding. Yeah, this should be fine. Four, three, three, three. There we go. Five threes of clubs. That's great. Love to see it. All right, going into anti five, how are we going to wrap this up? Uh, one way to do it is with the, we've already bought the wasteful voucher. We already have the extra discard, making it easier for us to get our uh, flush houses. If I get the juggler, it's going to be even easier for me to get my flush houses. Uh, the juggler, in my opinion, is too powerful. It's overpowered. If you want to play for the win, a juggler will make it happen, guaranteed. Uh, for this demonstration purposes, again, you know, what happens if we don't have the OP stuff? What happens if we don't have the overpowered stuff? Uh, we're going to see if we can win even without the power of the juggler. Can we still make our flush houses even without help? Uh, instead, of what we're going to take is more celestial packs. So again, here we have enough flush houses. We just need the score. Uh, again, we're denied, you know, no more, no series card showing up here. That's fine. Arcana pack second. And we have the opportunity to make more clubs, more flush houses. Definitely, that's going to be the correct play. In this position, I would say the correct play is to make the extra clubs. You know, you might even be able to get away with three flush houses on the boss. And, you know, if three straights will win it, then three flush houses will definitely win it. Um, getting four suit changers the same in a run is kind of rare. Uh, is very powerful, is also kind of rare. 
And so let's say we didn't have that. If I didn't have this moon here, maybe this was a sun instead and it gave hearts instead. The play would be we take the emperor. So let's go ahead and pop this out here. I've got, okay, some bonus cards if I want them. I've got that sun that I was talking about. All right, next around here, uh, I've got fours and threes. Fours and threes is worth 14,000 points. So let's just do that. No thinking. Fours and threes. Oh, eights and threes. I'm okay with eights and threes. Uh, do we want to use our bonus cards here? Sure, why not? Uh, I have a bunch of eights and I have a bunch of threes. Uh, maybe what I want to do is if I have Odd Todd giving me chips, then I want the bonus chips on something that's not Todd, on the even ones. Odd ones already have chips, even ones will put the bonus on. Uh, don't forget to discard for our summit. All right, going in here, we've got that Venus card. Uh, I could buy another one. I don't have to. Having it in the shop is the same as having it in your hand. Uh, I will take it because I'm going to do this maneuver. I'm going to, uh, instead of rerolling here, I'm going to buy the voucher. And that is effectively the same as a reroll. It's going to spawn in these extra cards here. Uh, it's a little bit late for the Golden Joker. Uh, foil is fine, but maybe it's not worth a Joker slot on its own. Uh, I don't want this star. Let's... How much time do we have left? We've got two rounds. We've got a $30 egg because we've been holding it on uh, from the beginning. And so I feel good on money. Let's do this. With star and sun in hand, when I open this Arcana pack, I won't get either of those. Uh, I have Hermit for the money. Lucky card. I'm going to take the Hermit, which allows me to do this. I'm going to reroll. Uh, hangman I want Okay uh, Banner probably not gonna be useful to me because I'm gonna be using my discards to make my flush house uh, Banana, uh, I don't trust it All right scholar I d I have these two aces, but I don't have like a lot of aces but you know what's nice now about having the discard voucher and having now 38 cards soon to be 36 cards. Uh, I can guarantee that I get my aces. And so it may even be worth it to pick up the scholar here. Uh, with the celestial pack, I've got now Venus and Mercury. So show me something else. Show me series. Just like that, series. Okay, here we've got the eights. Uh, eights are just as good as threes. So let's try to look for maybe eights and fours. And when I do this discard, actually before I discard, I'm gonna use the hangman. So this is what I was trying to hint at earlier. I'm discarding four cards, but secretly I'm discarding six cards. Uh, I've got some threes, go for threes. Uh, make sure we discard for the summit. Now, if we had just one more series card, that would be a winning hand. Uh, you know, I know it's hard to tell sometimes, but that would have been worth the 21,000. Uh, since we didn't have it, or since we were kind of struggling to get our series cards, uh, we didn't have enough points. We need a second flush house. How are we going to do it? Let's take a look. Uh, we could get one more eight, one more three, uh, two fours, a nine. Wait a gosh darn second. Maybe it's not in the cards. Maybe it's not in the tank.
All right, fours, threes. We've got just the one more, eight. Let's try a regular flush. And maybe what I want to do is, well, there we go. Okay, not terrible. We do survive. So that's the situation, like I said, you could tell. Uh, we almost died there. Uh, if we had the juggler, we would have been fine. Uh, if we, you know, use the extra what was it, moon earlier, if we had the extra clubs, we would have been fine, uh, but we still survived, and part of why we almost died is because we've been having bad luck with the planet cards. If we just had our planet cards, we would have had no, no problem there. If we had other different jokers, we would have been fine, but even without too many super powerful jokers, even without the planet cards, we still got a decent amount of score from our one flush house. All right, uh, we're going into, we've just got this shop and we've got the next shop after that. So now is the time we can go ahead and sell our egg. Uh, one option is you wait until the next round you get plus $3 on your egg, then you sell your egg. But if I sell my egg later, then I'm spending all of my rerolls in the same shop and we said the rerolls, they increase in value. And so it is more cost efficient to spread out your rerolls. Do some rerolls here, do some rerolls later. And so actually by spreading out our rerolls, the difference is more than the $3 that the egg would have gotten. And let's see here, uh, abstract for a plus 10, that's perfectly serviceable. Probably we could do better. Uh, stencil will do it, uh, but maybe we don't need the stencil. Uh, ice cream will do it, ice cream. Uh, we've been relying on the ice cream a lot, you know, the power of the ice cream. So let's try to do it without either of these. Maybe we can get something medium. There we go, abstract joker, that's kind of medium. Uh, foil abstract joker, it is foil, which has some value, but it's not the same as having the stencil. But it's gonna be good enough. That's what I want to show you. I want to show you good enough. Uh, let's see here. I want to roll again. Uh, let's see here. Supernova. We've got just the six flush houses. Reroll again. Blueprint is potentially overpowered. You know, it's one of those uh, definitely going to copy whatever your strongest joker is. Uh, the jokers that I have aren't especially powerful to begin with, and so maybe having an extra copy of any of these isn't that crazy. Uh, I will take the lovers as kind of a backup, being able to make flush houses. The reason why I re-rolled, the thing that I was looking for when I was re-rolling was I was trying to get the same situation, planet cards in shop, so then pl those planets won't be repeated. But now our money's getting low, so we should just go ahead and open the Celestial Pack and get a series card just like that. We haven't seen a Fool in a while. You know, it is only a 15-ish percent chance, but, you know, I'd like to see a Fool if I can. Uh, maybe here, okay, some options. I could do Hierophant to get more bonus cards. I can get uh, Emperor to give me two random tarot cards. What am I hoping for? If I'm trying to get two random tarot cards, what could I possibly get? Uh, suit changers, I don't really need anymore. Uh, I could get scoring things like this Hierophant, but you know, here it's already offered to me. Uh, I don't have to gamble. Uh, I could get some money. I don't really need the money. And so I'm gonna go with the safe one. The safe one is the Hierophant. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we did the eights before. We said the even ones. I'd like to hit up some aces, but it doesn't look like that's what we're gonna get. 
Uh, most of our cards are here threes and eights, and so we'll go threes and eights. And then go next. Or we could go threes and fours, why not? Uh, we could go eights and threes, sure. Maybe we'll do something like this. Uh, what do I have left in the tank? I've got two threes and two eights. I've got an eight of spades. I've got uh, more fours. So if I do need a second flush house, maybe I should hold on to the four. Actually, yeah, here we go. Uh, the summit, if I discard down, then uh, I'm going to get that bonus. But if I discard down, I might not be able to make my flush house. You know, we saw that in a previous round. We you know, ran out of cards because we were throwing away the wrong cards. And so uh, I'm going to just play this now instead of being greedy. Honestly, that's what it is, being greedy. And then we're relying on our abstract joker to make up the difference. All right, we got our fours here, and I can very comfortably go looking for the rest here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, with my eight of spades, turn it into an eight of clubs now. And then I'm looking for that one more eight. Or we've got a three. Uh, I'm going to go for, we've got more eights available. Let's go for the eight. Didn't get it, but with a 36 card deck, no problem. Twenty thousand and twenty three thousand. That's almost enough to win in two. Not quite enough to win in two, I'll admit. All right, let's pick up here a Celestial Pack. Looking for more series cards. We didn't get it. We're going to have to survive with just the two planet cards. Let's see here. We've got uh, Death. Could help us if we copy one of these cards to help us make a flush house. Uh, Emperor could also be useful. Probably you're supposed to buy and use the Emperor before you buy the death card. Uh, my bad. And then finally, our, the Arcana pack. All right, in the Arcana pack, I used the Lovers, and so I could get another Lovers. Uh, I have Strength offered to me. I can turn a 3 into a 4, 5 into a 6. Maybe that's not going to be helpful to me. Uh, I actually don't want any of this except for okay i'm gonna take the fool then and so what do i want to do i want to threes are helping me make my flush houses so we'll make another three and get rid of doesn't matter uh if i want i can get another death card let's go ahead and do that and the emperor will hold on to and we'll see what kind of spicy stuff we roll into Okay, we've got uh, threes and fours. We can go ahead and discard once. Threes and fours. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to get rid of the Mystic Summit and then play this here. Eighteen thousand. Looks like maybe we might need. Three flush houses with only two series cards we might need three flush houses also you know our jokers aren't especially exciting uh, I am going to hold on to the ace because we have the scholar and so maybe now I'm in the position where I could do here make another ace 
make some extra tarot cards. Uh, I can make some bonus aces. But let's make... We said before, would I rather have Emperor for two random tarot cards or rather have the bonus cards? Uh, I'd rather have the bonus cards. And so we'll do that. And go ahead and keep that for the next one. Here we go. You know, with the help of the Scholar and the bonus cards, that's already 27,000. Two of those would do it. Uh, sixes and fives. Here we go. We've got one, eight, and two threes left. That's it. We've used up our whole deck. This better win it. All right, what did we learn from today's lesson? Okay, uh, how do we make flush houses? Well, you make flush houses by prioritizing uh, arcana packs first so that you can actually make a flush house. You know, it's a non-standard thing. You do need some suit changers potentially to make that happen. Then once you have your flush house unlocked, you don't necessarily need a lot of flush houses. And so then we're gonna pivot and we're going to focus on planet cards. We want to get our series cards because if I get my series cards, just like with straights, enough planet cards, I don't need jokers. No problem. This run, uh, I'm going to say we did end up being particularly unlucky with the planet cards. And so the way we were able to make this run successful was by making it up with uh, extra moon cards, extra suit changes so that we could play more than one flush house and then also uh you know some medium ish jokers if you get sufficient planet cards you can win entirely without jokers completely jokerless run uh, but if you're unlucky then even though you don't need uh the joker support a little bit of joker support doesn't hurt